welcome back to Race Recap. My name is Jackson. This past weekend was the Xfinity Series and the Cup Series racing from the Magic Mile of New Hampshire. The Xfinity Series started us off Saturday running 200 laps. The first caution was a competition caution. The second caution was on that restart. Actually, the 98 of Riley Herbst got hit pretty hard in the back by the 19 of Brandon Jones, and Herbst ended up sliding not too hard into the inside wall, and Jones was hit hard in the back by the 8 of Sam Mayer. The third caution was coming to the end of Stage 1. The 47 of Kyle Weatherman slid up the track in Turn 2 and collected the innocent bystander of the 44 of Tommy Joe Martin, and they both ended up hard in the outside wall. That took him to the end of Stage 1, which went to Christopher Bell. The fourth caution was a Stage 2 winner of Christopher Bell. And the fifth and final caution was on the 23 of Patrick Emerlin blew a tire and ended up hard into the Turn 4 wall. Then the trigger flags in this race went to the 54 of Christopher Bell, swept both stages, and the win. The top 10 here were Christopher Bell, Justin Allgaier, Daniel Hemrick, Austin Sendrick, Harrison Burton, Justin Haley, Myatt Snyder, Josh Berry, Brett Moffitt, and Riley Herbst rounded the top 10. DNF's necessary CJ McLaughlin had an electrical issue. Brandon Jones had a radiator problem. Sam Mayer was out for the accident, and so was Mason Massey. The next day, the Cup Series ran 301 laps. The first call was brought out early on around about lap number 5. It was a very interesting cr crash involving the two leaders of Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr., both Joe Gibbs cars. It was actually raining at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, and NASCAR had not thrown a caution flag for the rain. So when the leaders went down into turns 1 and 2, they both had no grip and ended up backing them hard into the outside wall in turn 2. And to show how upset Kyle Busch was, he ended up hitting the back of the pace car, so we'll see if there are any penalties for that. And also spinning was the 11 Joe Gibbs car, all three, three of the four Joe Gibbs cars involved here, of Denny Hamlin, but he was able to keep it out of the wall. And after an almost two-hour rain delay, we were able to get back going on Sunday when the second caution was when the 38 of Anthony Alfredo spun down the front stretch and backed it pretty hard in the inside wall. There was no caution actually on that restart when the 51 of Cody Ware spun at the back of the pack and was able to save it and continue immediately. The third caution was the stage one winner of Ryan Blaney. The fourth caution was when the double zero of Quinn Howe backed it hard into the turn three wall after a lot of contact from the six of Ryan Newman. And to show how upset Quinn Howe was, lots of upset drivers this weekend, he actually hit hard into the passenger side door under caution to Ryan Newman. The fifth caution was later on in the race when the 23 of Bubba Wallace spun down the back straightaway and the 17 Rush Fenway car of Chris Buescher had a spin trying to avoid. And the sixth and final caution was the stage two winner of Brad Kozlowski. And the race was actually shortened lap 293 because of that rain delay. There are no lights in New Hampshire Motor Speedway and it was falling upon darkness at New Hampshire. So they called the race about eight laps early and the checker flags this race went off of pure speed to Eric Almarola. So that locked him into the playoffs and knocked Austin Dillon out at the moment. We'll see if he can get back in. So the top 10 here were Eric Almarola, Chris Bell, Brad Kozlowski, Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Ross Chastain, great finish for him, Alex Bowman, and Denny Hamlin round out of the top 10. Only three DNFs this race, Quinn Howell was out for the accident, James Davidson had a clutch issue, and Kyle Busch was out for the accident. Well, that's all for race recap. Come join us in a long three weeks for the Cup, when the Cup Series, Xfinity Series, and the Truck Series are all racing at Watkins Glen, but the Truck Series is in their final regular season race.